Well, hi all my LGBT straight, gay, and others. Um, just a short little video here. Um, sorry, I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately. Just other things are going on in my life uh, that are taking precedence right now. So not that uh, you're not on my minds or anything like that, but um, uh, unfortunately I can't um, always do these videos. Um, I uh, have just a few things to say um, um, as far as what's going on in Israel right now, um, you know, and Obama sending over 50 troops or whatever, just, you know, too little, too late, I think, um, in my opinion. Um, and uh, we know that, well, if you're a little bit behind on the news, uh, Russia going into Syria is um, not to really to help Assad uh, over there. Uh, he he wants the oil because apparently um, Russia only has uh, seven years left before their oil runs out. And I think that's one reason why they invaded the Ukraine as well, even though they said it didn't. Um, and so they want the, the natural gas and the oil because they're running out. Now, America has maybe 50 years, plus we have some sites we haven't tapped into. Um, that's why we want to do the Keystone Pipeline and so forth, I think. Uh, a lot, it has a lot to do with resources. I, I know that in my years of being here, um, other people have come up with synthetics, um, other fuel uh, options, other, uh, uh, you know, engines that run just on water, you know, that kind of thing. And why we're allowing this to, to keep happening, um, you know, why, you know, why, why we couldn't just go ahead and have uh, this engine that runs on water or you could just really put anything in it pretty much and it'll just run, run, run. Um, you know, it just just doesn't make any sense to me, you know, it's just so futile. Um, so, but anyway, so that's what's going on. Uh, what, uh, you know, uh, we have, we have the U S and, uh, the UK that's not really anxious and to going into, uh, to Syria. So that should tell you a lot right there. Okay. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about was, uh, these, other things that are coming on YouTube that I've been noticing and very disturbing. And so I, I talked to my buddy, Tony over at God rules, and he's going to be doing a video about it. Uh, maybe hopefully it'll come out today. So I wanted you guys to have a heads up so you could take a look at it, at the video. Um, it's, I think he's going to be talking about the, um, Roman Messiah, uh, the, um, new covenant and some other things. So, um, I think that's very important because it's, there's this new Christianity that's coming out. That's saying that we're under the new covenant, which we are, but they're, um, we're not in the new kingdom. And so they're trying to perpetuate that we're already in the millennium and they're starting schools and they've got students and, you know, 450, 500 students taking, you know, these courses. And I think that this is very dangerous because it's not, um, these people are just starting their own Christian cult, you know, pretty much. Um, because there's no, uh, fact for that. Um, you know, and then you've got other people who are coming out that are saying, that uh, Christianity was invented by the Romans, like from the, the Flavian thing. And, you know, Titus was the Messiah. Um, Titus Flavian was the Messiah, and it wasn't really Jesus. Well, any historian worth their weight in, 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 in salt <laughs> uh, will tell you that there was a Jesus, um, that we have historical uh, religious, religious artifacts, um, talking about Jesus' brother James. We have Paul who wrote Galatians. We have 
you know, all, all this evidence, we have more evidence for the evidence of Jesus than we do any other per living person that, that, you know, dead or alive. And <laughs> so very, you have to be really careful about what you read and you don't want to be influenced by, uh, you know, some people who have the wrong facts. And if you're not a strong Christian in your belief, you, you may be suckered in, you know. Um, so uh, fact check your, you know, look, always look at your Bible, reread your Bible. That's why you need, need to be filled with the Holy Spirit so that you have these verses and that, you know, if something doesn't seem ring true with you, you'll, it'll gnaw at you and you'll know from that that something's not quite right and you have to recheck it to, um, you know, to get, get the facts straight and so that you're on a solid footing with your belief. And so I think that that's really important um, to do that. Um, there's just so many things that are out there that may not ring true. Um, the other thing that I'm finding fascinating still is the near-death experiences from, I mean, there are hundreds and hundred, thousands um, of people uh, have written about their experiences. And I find it very comforting um, to know what people experience, what they go through, um, and to know that our, of course, Jesus told us this long time that our spirit lives on forever. The Bible tells us um, that we will never die, um, and that um, it, even though this body that we have is is like a suit, it's like a house that we live in. Uh, we can. We, you know, if you think of your, if you of your body as a, a, a tiny house, <laughs> um, but you're still in it, you're still you, you still have who you are, you know, um, you can leave that house and then you'd still be you, it's still, you know, you just don't have the house with you anymore. And you may be given even, even better house, <laughs> you know, uh, when you get up to heaven. And so... Uh, people, um, uh, you know, have have shared their experiences of what it's like. It's very, like, very thinly veiled uh, difference between this dimension and and the dimension of heaven and so forth. Um, and how you know people that they have known will come to them, uh, relatives, Jesus Himself. Um, other other figures that they're maybe more comfortable with because God knows what will help them to feel more comfortable and that they're bathed in love and and total um, um, secure feeling they're you know they're never fearful um, unless they go to the other side and then it becomes very fearful for them and I think that from so far from what I have heard is that, um, and this is something that Tony talks about too at God Rules, is that hell is not a permanent situation. It's definitely there. It's definitely not a place you want to go to. And it seems to me that there are other uh, entities there, of course, but then that, you know, that you also make up your own hell. Um and that there are times when people have been taken out. So that's kind of in, new to me because our Bible only talks about the very wealthy man that um, was thirsting for water who um, asked Jesus to please tell his brothers about um, not coming here, you know, by giving their life to God so that they don't have to come there as far as we know, he's still thirsting, you know, uh, in hell. But then again, who knows, you know, um, how long he has to be there. So um, every knee eventually will bow to the Lord and to Jesus um, and, and um, recognize that he is sovereign over all. And um, so, you know, it seems to me that it's not... For some a permanent but again you know it's so beyond me and there was one near-death uh, experience where the guy asked Jesus so 
So it's like, you know, is there other words, worlds? Is there other creatures, you know, other, other humans? And, you know, where are we on the spectrum of things? You know, are we kind of like in kindergarten, you know, as a, as a planet? And Jesus said, no, a little bit less. He goes, uh, you know, uh, well, no, first in middle school, and he said, no, kindergarten, no, preschool, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh boy, <laughs> you know, we're um, not very uh, advanced. Um, and that they're, uh, you know, I, it, it makes sense to me that God wouldn't just create one world, that he would be occupying his time because he is the creator of everything that he would be creating many many other worlds and other aliens other beings and other things it just sort of makes sense even though our bible doesn't say anything about that um and maybe perhaps because we weren't ready to hear that um and maybe we are now i don't know um i i just don't want to be fooled again you know by believing in something finding out I was totally wrong and then saying something and so forgive me I don't have I don't know it for sure you know Jesus didn't tell me personally okay so um and I, I don't want to have to die to find out unless for sure that I'm not going to be coming back because frankly folks if I died love you guys and everything but I don't want to come back uh if I don't have to uh, because, you know, I'd rather be with him and, and, uh, you know, being in wonderful heaven than to be down here because this is, uh, it was a nice experience and I learned a lot, <laughs> uh, for my spirit, hopefully. And, um, you know, he'll call me when he's ready, when my mission is done. So, um, so that's why I don't want to come back. But um, anyway, so that's all that's on my mind for now. It's just going to be a short video. Um